You are already dead. The line was a big hit when I was in school. Fist of the North Star. In a post-apocalyptic future, where violence rules all, one man stands ready to defend the weak. This is our protagonist, Kenshiro. He wanders the wasteland where only the strong survive. Everywhere he goes, rivals wait to take him down. As he battles his way from one episode to the next, Kenjiro struggles to fulfill his destiny. It sold over 100 million copies worldwide. My brother got me into it too. Dao's twisted love for Yuria fascinated me. Today, Fist of the North Star remains a cultural icon. Can put the fingers and then the gripping action and unforgettable dialogue have long stayed with readers. Artwork by Hara Tetsuo. Story by Buronson. But it was the third member of the group that solidified the series' success. Editor. Horie Nobuhiko. This is the story of how fate brought three men together to make manga history. Episode number one. September 13th, 1983. Weekly manga magazine Shonen Jump launches Fist of the North Star. Our first vantage point is from the artist's perspective. Hara Tetsuo. He was just 21. Hara was struggling to find his footing as a manga illustrator. Most readers had never heard of him. But one man was convinced of his potential. A chance encounter changed their lives. The birth of Fist of the North Star. This is another story. Kichijoji, Tokyo. In a quiet office, a master at work. Hara Tetsuo has been a manga illustrator for more than 35 years. His detailed drawings burst to life on the page. Hara has lost nearly all sight in his right eye. Over the course of five years working on Fist of the North Star, he pushed his body beyond its limits. Let's go back to late 1970s Japan. Major manga publishers are in a heated battle to gain the most readers. At the time, 
One high school student was hoping to break into the industry by approaching the publishers, Hara Tetsuo. This is one of the works he shows. It's a story of the dark underside of humanity. Hara was born in 1961. He grew up in Saitama, north of Tokyo. His grades were low, and he wasn't great at sports. As a teenager, Hara found refuge in comedic manga from giants like Akatsuka Fujio. Even as a child, Hara was covering scraps of paper with drawings. His talent as an artist was promising, but his storytelling was weak. He thought he could find work as a manga illustrator or artist. In his search for a way in, Hara visited the editorial department of Weekly Shonen Jump. The magazine was looking for fresh talent and known for its popular lineup. Hoping against hope, Hara pitched the magazine for an assistant position. One editor sent something special in him. Horie Nobuhiko was an up-and-coming 24-year-old and future creator of popular manga, including Cat's Eye. Hara had brought along a sample of his work an unfinished story about a flawed detective. In all honesty, the story didn't quite work. But Horie saw something beyond the rough edges. Horie introduced Hara to an assistant position and kept an eye over his progress. What was it about Hara's work that impressed him? Hara's densely detailed frames were unlike anything the magazine was putting out. With more experience, maybe Horie could help him create a completely different kind of manga. A partnership was born. Together, the duo would create the forerunner to Fist of the North Star. But it would take them three years to get there. With Horie as his mentor, Hara penned a series of one-off stories. One of them captured an award. Hara had begun to find his footing. He wanted to model his next protagonist on an action star. Rippling muscles and bared teeth. No one could touch him. Bruce Lee, 
he used martial arts to dispose of opponents twice his size. Lee was pure power in motion, and that fascinated Hara. Hara also admired another TV and movie star, this time Japanese, known for his hard-boiled characters, Matsuda Yusaku. Hara pitched Horie on a martial arts story, combining the best of both actors. But Horie had other plans. He wanted to build a new series around motocross and its booming popularity. Horie was convinced he could bring the excitement of racing to the pages of a manga. Hara didn't share his editor's confidence, but he was willing to give it a go, and that led to Hara's first serial manga. Iron Don Quixote, Hara took the opportunity and gave everything he had. But reader response was tepid. Less than a month after the launch, the magazine was looking for an exit. Iron Don Quixote ran for just 10 weeks before calling it quits. ま、6週目かなんか書いてる時に、俺さんが部屋に来て、それで次の連載の話しようって言ったんですよ。で、と思って6週目ですよ。まだ知らないんですよ、終了するの。それも絶望ですよ。あの、21ぐらいですから。は
Portier found the answer in a used bookshop not far from his office. で、in April 1983, Hara and Horie pooled their ideas to create a one-off story. Fist of the North Star. It was quietly published in the final pages of a monthly manga magazine. The protagonist is a high school student named Kasumi Kenshiro. He was named after fictional judoka Sugata Sanshiro. His killer technique is called Hokuto Shinken. The story featured elements that would soon appear in the serial of the same name. and Kenshiro would speak that iconic line for the first time. You are already dead. Hara's one-off was chosen by readers as the best story in the magazine. In September of that year, Kenshiro returned in the first episode of a new serial. Hara concentrated on artwork while someone else would write the stories. The new serial put an older Kenshiro in a new setting. Wandering alone in a wasteland left barren by nuclear war. The new Kenshiro was a man of few words. With the secrets of Hokuto Shinken, he triumphed over seemingly unbeatable opponents in every issue. Readers fell hard for Fist of the North Star's epic scale and gripping visuals. But turning out 20 pages of finished artwork every week was far harder than Hara imagined. Hara's visuals delighted readers. Fist of the North Star topped pole after pole. But instead of sharing the success with Hara, Horie cracked the whip. Although Horie kept the pressure on, he also kept Hara inspired. When it came to action scenes, Horie gave his artist complete freedom. And Hara, 
never failed to deliver. Fans loved his unconventional words. <laughs> As Kenshiro's opponents bite the dust, they utter one last cry. These haraisms were a huge hit with readers. Take Hidebu! One of the death cries from Hara's fertile imagination. But Hara's death cries were so out of the box his copy editors had difficulty understanding. Hara was following in the footsteps of giants. え、でもやっぱり赤塚before they knew it, Shonen Jump gained over a million weekly sales. But Hara wasn't driven by the numbers. His obligation was to the fans who waited eagerly for each new issue, the way he did as a child. もうすごい癒されて、こう救いになったっていう少年時代。本当希望がなかったのに漫画で希望をもらえたっていうのがあるんですよ。だからそういう漫画ってそういうもんでしょっていう思いがあるから、漫画を読んだ人に絶対喜
From the tip of his pencil, new worlds are born. We asked him, how does he do it? もう根っから嘘つきだからね。本当なの。だいたい物書きなんてあの嘘つきの言い訳のうまいやつだからね。俺に言わせると。Bronson's participation in Fist of the North Star was by chance. At first, he was just another name on Horier's list of candidates. But when Shonen Jump couldn't come to an agreement with his first choice, Horier turned to Bronson. Bronson read Hara's original one off and liked what he saw. But the author had specific conditions. とりあえず現代劇では無理だからと言った。このままの高校生の憲法ものでは俺は書けないとは言った。肉体のとか憲法強さを出すにはもう近代兵器ない方がいいっていう。とはあったんで、とりあえずこのあの武器のない時代にしよう。だったらもう原子の世界に戻るか、近未来行くしかないんで。でたまたまマトマックスがあったんだ。近未来にしよう。A martial arts master in a Mad Max world. Somehow, it sounded like a hit. Bronson couldn't see where it would lead, but he always trusted his instincts. Bronson was the youngest of six in a Nagano farming family. As soon as possible, he joined the Air Self Defense Force. It was his ticket out of poverty. In the Defense Force, he made a friend who would change his life Motomiya Hiroshi. Motomiya Would go on to become a successful manga author with hits like Otoko Ippiki Gaki Daisho, Ore no Sora, and Salaryman Kintaro. After seven years of service, Baronson left the Defense Force and started hanging out at Motomiya's studio. But he had no talent for drawing. And He wasn't much of an assistant. Yeah, it's not a good thing. 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 He spent his afternoons drinking and playing mahjong. Still, Bronson was a born storyteller. People liked having him around. Someone finally suggested he try his hand at writing stories. As it turned out, he had a knack for it. His first story was quickly accepted for publication. Soon, with his name on the hit serial Doberman Dega, his profile as a manga author started to rise. But after Doberman, he found himself looking for work. When he got the call from Horie, he was ready. Bronson submitted the first episode, confident he'd done a good job. But Hara's artwork blew his high expectations away. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going
バイクがボーンと出てくるシーンとか俺のイメージよりはすげえっていう映像を作ってそれを文章に落としていくんだけどで俺が書いたものよりもものすごい映像として出てきたから原先生はすっげえ才能あるんだと思ったのは最初かなうわ負けたくないからもっといいもの作ろうとかなるし。ブロンソンソ He had to up his game. Episode 2 Kenshiro encounters an old man in the wasteland. His most precious possession, a bag of rice seeds. His seeds are a glimmer of hope in a ravaged world. Kenshiro murmurs, It's been a while since I met a real human being. But the old man is killed by a motorcycle gang. Kenshiro's rage explodes. He exacts deadly revenge using Hokuto Shinken. After the battle, Kenshiro scatters the seeds across the old man's grave. The story ends with a glimmer of hope for a better future. Suzuki Haruhiko, an editor at Shonen Jump, remembers his reaction to the second episode. だからこれ鳥肌が立つぐらい面白いと思ったんでもちろんな編集部ではそんなことは言わないんだけれど泣き、うん、泣きっていうか人間の情に訴えるっていうのは単に強いだけの漫画だとやっぱし奥行きがなくなっちゃうんでそれこそ本当にあの子供も大人も男も女もみんなあの心のに。やっぱりジーンとくるねいい,いい話だったと思うけどねあもう完全にこの漫画の天下が来るなと、うん、In Baronson's first draft the old man and his seeds didn't play any part in the story Horie helped him find the story's emotional core 最初にできた原稿だとなんとなくただあらすじを追ってる感じだったあこれじゃ人の気持ちは打たないなってでケンシロウの良さも出ないと With the deadline approaching Hara was already hard at work on the drawings but Horie insisted on a rewrite 最終的に原先生に原稿を渡してるのにまだ納得いかなくてもう一度考えましょうってやってるわけだからなんか食い足りない面白くないっていうんで粘って粘って最終的に絞り出したのが老人とあの谷もみだったからあこれですよって言ってで原先生のとこ行って悪いけど書き直してくれって言って一から書き直したっていう。The three men worked heroically to meet the deadline. Episode 2 was published to much acclaim. The story both set a direction for the future and forged bonds of trust between Hara, Bronson and Horie. Bronson's storytelling genius was demonstrated episode after episode. Take Kenshiro's scars in the shape of the Big Dipper. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to s Bronson devised a brilliant backstory for those seven scars. その時に俺思いついた時に俺は天才だと思ったからね<笑>後付けのエピソード
the love of Kenshiro's life is stolen by another man. As they battle, he is scarred seven times. This key episode tells us what drives Kenshiro to wander through the wasteland. With Horie keeping an eye on reader feedback, each episode built on the one before. There was no long-term plan. やっぱりある程度のあのアドリブ性っていうのが傑作を生む秘訣だからだから先のことなんて二三話ぐらいまでしか考えてないよね大体の方向性うんでその中でこうアンケートとかそのなんかに揉まれながらこう修正していく練り
skeletons lay in piles by the roadside. Boronson's experience had a deep influence on his characters and the dialogue he wrote for them. I have no patience for those who dare rob children of their light. It's only right you have a man in your life who's willing to die for you. The people of the wasteland are ready to fight for the future. They're born survivors. In the final battle, Kenshiro takes on Raoul. As the brothers fight to the death, Hara shows us every blow, every ounce of blood and sweat. By the thinnest of margins, Kenshiro emerges the victor. But even in defeat, Raoul is unbowed. Before he dies standing, he utters his final words. I have no regrets of the life I've led. More than three decades later, Kenshiro's story continues to capture new generations of readers. <laughs> In 1988, the curtain finally comes down on Fist of the North Star. Horie Nobuhiko will go on to become managing editor of Shonen Jump. Under his stewardship, the magazine will reach a weekly high of over 6.5 million issues printed. It is a record that has never been broken. Hara Tetsuo. With the loss of vision in his right eye, he can only draw a few pages a month. But with help from assistants, he keeps on drawing stories that please him. Hara and Horie still collaborate as manga artist and editor. They've made a vow to each other. Fist of the North Star, a masterpiece by three men each with unique talents, each brought together by chance. It stands today as a landmark achievement in the history of manga, a star that will never dim. <laughs>